Hello friends. Welcome back to another grocery haul. This is a this is two grocery hauls actually last week's. I'll share with you first and then this week's which is behind me right now. Um I meant to post last week's but yeah, uh we've had sickness again, but this time it is stomach stuff. So um I think we're all good. Fingers crossed. Um, but uh, my little guy is still have a he has a little bit of a sensitive stomach still. So I think we got some supplies and we should be good to go now. So, anyways, I'm gonna share with you what we got. And if you're new here, my name is Lisa and I am a home a single homeschool mom. I am a single homeschool mom of five, and on this channel I share our weekly grocery hauls and homeschool content as well. So if you are interested in that, be sure to subscribe and I would love to have you here and chat with you guys in the comments below. So let me go ahead and share with you what we got. All right, so this is part of my weekly grocery haul from Walmart. Um, I'm gonna do the other part here in a second. Um, I just didn't have the table clean because we are finishing up some school and I'm getting ready. Right I'm getting ready to take my van to go get um, something fixed on it. So, um, got some Italian sausage, some ground beef, um, and grabbed some summer berry sparkling water. Two things of this triple zero yogurt. My kids like this. Grabbed some sliced cheese, some pepper jack, and some Colby. Also grabbed some low carb, low carb tortillas, and then I grabbed two of these Lily chocolates, one for me and for my mom, and then grabbed some of this tricolor coleslaw and some broccoli slaw. I felt like making some slaw this week, some like coleslaw this week, so I'm gonna do that with those. Grabbed some, two things of um, guacamole. I didn't get a big thing because it tends to go bad. So this is about how much we use probably in a meal with, um, you know, five kids and two adults. So, um, so one of those will be for one meal, one for another meal. Grabbed some maple bourbon bacon salad. Pretty soon we'll have, you know, a garden going. So I won't be buying the salad <laughs> kits, but grabbed a Caesar one, and then um, some pepperonis, some broccoli, some avocados, some baby carrots. My kids love baby carrots. Um, grabbed a bunch of bananas and some a bag of these pears here. Classic, classic pears, I think is how you pronounce it. Grabbed some sugar-free Concord grape jam, and then I grabbed these bars. We usually use those on co-op days. Um, bars are just easy for everybody to grab, so um, that's their snack on co-op days. Grabbed some more unsweetened almond milk, vanilla. I usually use that in my coffee and smoothies for, for us. So that is the first half. All right, so here's the last little bit of what we got from Walmart for the week. Grabbed two loaves of the sourdough bread. This is actually a substitution. I got a different brand, but um, anyways, it's fine. We use it for toast for the, um, I use it for toast for the kids and for sandwiches and stuff a lot, um, especially on co-op days when we're out and about. So grabbed four dozen eggs, some blueberries, strawberries, some sugar snap peas. I've been trying to get a lot of healthy stuff. So, um, one package of thick sliced bacon, two things of beef smoked sausage, and um, a package of summer sausage to go with this cheese tray for probably a snacky lunch. Uh, coming up this week, grabbed some unsalted butter and some, let's see, some light sour cream. Grabbed two things of hash browns, the shredded and then the southern style. Put in the freezer. I don't know if I'll use those this week or not. And then I did get two pretty big one pound bags of sharp cheddar. We use cheese often so I figure if I get a big thing of it anyways it's, it's cheaper if you buy it in the bigger amounts. So 
grabbed that, um, grabbed two can cantina style tortilla chips. I'm going to do nachos this week. I'm trying to, I am trying to come up with some easy things because we just have kind of a busy week. So, um, so that was nachos are one of my easy thing, easy go to meals. And then, um, like cutting up sausage and putting with like potatoes, onions and peppers and stuff, um, on a sheet pan. That's one of my easy meals. Um, snacky lunch is an easy um, thing to do. So that's just, I kind of went and thought of some easy things to do. So let me know down in the comments your favorite easy meals. Let me know down there. Um, and yeah, so that is everything that we got this week. All right, so here's everything we got from Walmart this week. If you can tell my daughter decided to decorate a little bit right there and if you hear some loud noise we do have some um construction going on in the basement so um that might happen anyways so grab some cucumbers i grabbed two two kinds because i'm going to kind of do um some different things with them but english cucumber and some mini cucumbers i'm actually making this like um greek bowl like rice bowl thing that I'm making tonight. So I needed cucumber, lemon, mint, and dill for that. And then I got my normal, I get this unsweetened almond milk, vanilla. I used to make my own and it has less, you know, it's better for you if you make your own almond milk. It's really easy. I just haven't done it in a long time. So grab two bunches of, or two packages of strawberries because my kids love them. So far, I don't see any mold on them, so that's good Good news. Every once in a while, when you have stuff delivered or um, you do pick up, you don't know what you're going to get as far as produce. So, so far, everything's looking pretty good. Grab some sugar snap peas. They ate like a whole bag of these in one meal last week, so I did that, and they did that with, their, with the baby carrots, so I grabbed more of those. Um, we're going to have produce. I'm so excited. We're going to have produce from the garden soon, so... Um, you know, it's coming so soon, summer. Grabbed some sliced pepper jack, some sliced Colby jack, two things of the feta. Again, that's for that, uh, like Greek rice bowl thing that I'm making for dinner. Grabbed some, uh, heavy wh whipping cream for some coffee. I kind of wanted just a little bit. Um, I can't drink too much of it because it does upset my stomach, but a tiny bit added to my coffee every once in a while is kind of a special treat. I grabbed two things of the low fat cottage, cottage cheese because you can do all kinds of things with it, but my kids love it. And then um, two dozen of the free range eggs. We're going to get some chicken soon, so that'll be different as well. But um, right now we do have some eggs already in the fridge. So this definitely would not get us by for a full week but went ahead and grabbed that then um, the two types of breads that we eat are sprouted and sourdough I actually used to make sprouted and sourdough myself but you know just made it more convenient right now um, grabbed some taco shells grabbed some more of the no sugar added peanut butter and then this is the soup for my little guy and if hopefully nobody else gets stomach stuff but this rio, rios rios now the sauce is super expensive but this soup wasn't super 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 expensive um grabbed the chicken noodle there and then also grabbed just this uh the campbell's four cans of the campbell's chicken noodle for his stomach <laughs> hopefully also grabbed four uh grapefruits um and then some unsweetened applesauce Grabbed some salami for a snacky lunch coming up. Also grabbed some minced garlic. Um, this is really the easiest way for me to do it, honestly. It's already chopped up. I don't have to do anything. Um, grabbed grabbed uh, some of this butter toffee coffee pods, hiccups. Um, so I'm excited to try that. We also already have some other, I think this like brown sugar cinnamon or something in there um grabbed some ground black pepper some dishwasher pods and then a big thing of the 
gallon freezer bags. Um, we use those, so I stocked up on those. Also grabbed some, let's see, LaCroix passion fruit um, and then some cherry Waterloo. I love sparkling water. <laughs> so I usually have one a day and so does my mom and it's kind of like a treat and um, it kind of helps me uh, <laughs> get through the day. It's like, oh, I got a special treat for working hard. <laughs> so that's kind of my thing. So um, grabbed these for Easter baskets. I know it's not super close to Easter. I mean, it's getting closer. It's the same month now. Um, this is March 1st. So uh, I'm just saving stuff up for our Easter baskets. So these are for the Easter baskets. Also grabbed this for my older boys. This is called Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. Now if you've ever played this game, let me know down in the comments. It looks like it's fun. And this uh, Rook also. So those are my bigger boys because I didn't think that they would want the chalk. So that is for my younger boys. All right here. Um, we always take bars on our co-op days. So I grabbed some bars. This one is the Cliff Kids, or the Cliff Bars for the kids. It's like the, let's see, this is the iced oatmeal cookie. They've had that before, they love that one. And then this one, the Made Good, I really like this. Um, this one's chocolate drizzled. But it has actual, um, they add good stuff in there for them, which is interesting. To, oh, let's see, I'm trying to think. So there's like beets, tomatoes, carrots, broccoli, that's interesting, but anyways, I just, I'm like, oh, well, if we can get some more veggies in somehow, that's a good thing. Um, my older boys, I'm going to put these in their Easter baskets because they've been working outside and getting dirty and stuff in their nails, and so they needed, the, they needed these. <laughs> um, and then my daughter, I saw this shirt, it says Free Spirit, so since she, since she doesn't have any clothes that's passed down since it's... I have one girl and <laughs> four boys. Um, then I usually have to every, uh, every you know, every time we change out clothes, I have to buy her some because she doesn't have any that gets passed down to her. So this one just is, I thought was cute. Um, so, and it was on sale. They also I also have some other things coming in the mail. Um, so if you want to see like a uh, an Easter basket haul video, let me know down in the comments and I'll share with you things that are coming for their Easter baskets. I try not to do a ton of like junk candy and things like that because it's just not healthy and they usually get that from grandparents or people at church or things like that too. So uh, they get so much of it that we just don't, I don't do a whole lot in their Easter baskets and stuff. Grab some gala apples. They love apples, a bunch of bananas, and the tomatoes, which are actually for the Greek um, bowls tonight. Um, grabbed some ground beef for something I'm making, and then some maple syrup, and then some chicken breast. So that is everything, guys. Um, that is everything for this week. So if you um, want to see more grocery hauls, see our weekly grocery haul, for our family of, let's see, seven. So it is me, my mom, and um, five kiddos. And she also goes grocery shopping too, um, but a lot of times we eat the same things. So it's kinda, we've kinda like broken it up to when she wants to make meals and, that, and I make meals. And anyways, so it all works out <laughs> just fine. Um, anyways, so if you are interested in seeing more of our grocery hauls, and homeschool content coming up. I have, a, I'll do, be doing a homeschool haul video for next year's curriculum and things like that. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you enjoyed seeing all the goodies that we got. 